Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 5 of Tribe 9. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Hopefully our boys, you know, get Saudi out of this situation. Please and thank you. And I wonder how the new kid is going to like connect and such. He he is very interesting. Gives me hella Kokichi vibes. Like, no, Koki if if Kokichi and um Nagato had like a son together. <laughs> right? Like Unless, like, Shun really believes in this kid. Um, I think his name was Kazu... Kazuma, I believe? I, I don't remember. It's been a whole freaking week. <laughs> I've been busy. But, um, I know in the... The... What the fuck was it? It was the... Um... The poster for the... Not the poster. The trailer for their group for the game. Um... Of course, he's supposed to be, like, a side-ish player. Like, he, he doesn't really... He spectates and kind of gives the group, like, oh, hey, you should do this, or oh, hey, you should do that, and such. But still, you know, got a lot of unanswered questions about him. You know, want to know. Damn, they ended up changing us! I want to know about his fucking arm. Like, I'm so confused on that. Kanaka, what the fuck? <laughs> Cody, go lay down. No oh, God. Hmm? No, I, I think he was supposed to do that. Watch it be fake.
Oh god, now there's more? <laughs> Only because of a fake porno magazine? Oh my god. Yeah, it's a little tight fit, but it's okay. Has a king. <laughs> I mean, come on. Like, Shun put his trust in him. So, of course, you choose to trust him as well. <laughs> I know. You want to be fair and square. The, the fact that he had to reference Swindler. <laughs> Just had to put the word sweat away. <laughs> But what if Shun also wanted to cheat as well? He's right. <laughs> mm. 
I know, I miss him too! Uh, Kanako, why did you have to kill him? I mean, now when the game comes out, is it gonna be canon that he died and such like Kanaka? I can't do this. Right. Wait, uh oh. Uh -uh. in hell you can bat after getting your ass beat. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Well, yeah, dumbass. <sighs> Excuse me. You're gonna actually try. <laughs> Come on, Haru. Ah. No, uh, come on, Haru.
I thought he ought to fuck you get out of here quickly. Right? Shit, 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 Yeah! <sighs> hmm? How the fuck are you still gonna bat, my boy? Like, damn. Damn, nice.
And I wonder how that's going to go. I mean, seriously, it could go anyway. Though that group could die. The <laughs> time can die next week. If we, we find out, like, in the first few minutes of the episode, bam, dead. Oh, <laughs> I, I would hate to say that and have it be true next week, but I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, hell, you know, Kanaka, as much as I love him and he will kill off favorite characters no matter what, I mean, he's done that with everything that he's made, except the World Ends Club kids. Those are the only characters he has not killed off, technically. But when you look at all of his other characters, you're like, damn, Kanaka, like, you really, I understand you like the fact of killing your characters off, but shit, like... No matter how long it's been, it's been years since Danganronpa V3, and I am still upset about Best Girl Kayane. And every single time when I see her, I want to cry because I love her so fucking much. And that is the one game that everybody has, like, the, 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 the fandom of that is very different on that feelings of that game and such. I still like it for what it was, but at the same time, like, you know, I'm pissed. But I'm happy Saudi is the new leader. I cannot wait to see what else she does personally. This really match was like a wake-up call for them. That they can still be themselves even with the fact is that Shun is not here. But still at the same time, ever since Shun, you know, died... Something kind of tells me he's not really dead dead, you know? Um, because Kadaka likes to do that as well. Hello, Danganronpa 3, the end of Hoax Peak Academy, when we all thought that he killed off Kitty Giddy, and in the end she was alive, because of course Kiri is such a fan favorite character, and everybody loves her, including myself. And that was the one thing that if she, I think if she really truly would have died, like, the fandom would have gone nuts and such. Um, so in my opinion, as of right now, I don't really consider him dead until we see a body. It's very similar to, like, with Agudama Drive. I I kept saying, like, for Hacker, aka the same kid who's also voiced by Haru um, in this show, I was like, I'm not saying that he's dead until we see him die. And so when we got to see him die, technically in the second to last episode, I was like, okay, now he's officially dead and such. But I mean, like, thinking about this, because it makes you so wonder, especially when this game does come out sometime between by the time this show ends, I'm guessing the show is ending sometime next month. Most of these shows will be ending next month, going into April. Um... So from now up until whenever the hell the game comes out, until maybe like the end of the year, going into next year, 
Um, I would like it to possibly have collabs with both Dark and Ropa and Alcadama Drive just to see them have costumes or having all of his characters that Kadaka has made even with the dude with 999 because of course they have the studio together and their new project um Now World's End Club but the other other project that the the that is the collab with Spike Jones off that I am super duper excited about um they do something with that in their game and stuff. There's a lot of things that they could do, but I'm really still at the same time hoping, even though, yes, it is going to be a mobile game, that it eventually comes to, like, what, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Switch, something, because I really want to play it and such. But, yes, I think this is going to be a really good new start for them. I feel like Shun is still, like, watching beneath, like, the shadows. Um... Kazuki, he's interesting. Very, very interesting. I wonder, like, what else he's going to do. So, of course, we won't know until we get more into this show because we're not even at the halfway point because I think this is supposed to have, like, 12 episodes. We, we're not really sure yet. But I think about 12, 13 is, like, the point of where I see this show getting its beginning middle and, and such. But, yeah, I mean, I thought this was a really interesting episode. The fact is that Saudi, you know... So beat the shit out of dude and was able to get out <laughs> best girl so i am also hoping that they that the minoto tribe gets to meet um that one tribe it's with the girl with the white hair um who literally looks like gundam and sonia's kid offspring straight up I hope they get to meet them next because I really want to see her. There, there's one other girl. Well, technically, I've seen the other girl who's with, um, what's his face, a.k.a. the guy who voices, um, Sukuna, that dude, and ish. She's there. We saw her last week. So, she's, like, literally the only other girl that I really, really, truly want to see. So, fingers freaking crossed we get to see her next week because she's the last best girl that I need to see in the show plus all the guys and shit but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 5 of Tribe 9 if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Monday slash Tuesday for episode 6 bye guys